So with summer coming up upon us, I wanted to take a quick minute just to go over some of my favorite road trip tech accessories. These are just everyday tech that is just in the car, but they really help make road trips more accessible, maybe your daily commute more accessible. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's talk tech. I'm Arnell with Arden Lee Tech. On this channel, we believe tech was made to make our lives easier, so we're here to help you understand and discover that tech, like these road trip tech accessories that might help improve your life. So in today's video, I wanted to go over some of my favorite tech accessories, and I wanted to come at it from a unique perspective of somebody that just doesn't have a more modern, you know, newer car like a Tesla or any cars that have Apple CarPlay. I'm driving a 2013 Camry. Uh, basically, the premise of this video is to show you that if you're somebody that doesn't have Apple CarPlay, you're somebody that uh, doesn't have any, you know, built-in Bluetooth even, or you're somebody that just has an older car, you don't necessarily have to have all these features to be able to take advantage of some of these road trip tech accessories that we're going to go over in today's video. So let's jump into my first favorite tech accessory, which is a car dock. And my favorite is actually the ESR magnetic car dock. This is a awesome car dock because it has MagSafe technology, actually just magnetic technology in general. So it allows your phone, whether you have MagSafe built into it, like an iPhone, or you just have some sort of magnetic plate on the back of it, it has very strong magnets. I can comfortably put my phone on and go over speed bumps just driving down the road. I don't have to worry about my phone falling off and it also wirelessly charges your phone as well. So because this actually can magnetically hold my phone and it's within arm's reach, I can very easily reach over and control my phone if I need to change the song I'm listening to, if I'm changing the directions on my maps, uh, if I need to send a quick voice message to somebody, you know, through text message, whatever, I can easily do that because it's within arm's reach and basically allows you to have one specific spot to be able to plop your phone down, know where it is, and be able to do all the stuff you need to do. But let's say you don't like magnetic accessories uh, and you have a pop socket. So pop socket has a great holder that is uh, honestly really good. This is actually the one that we have. It's great. It holds really well and it just pops into your air vent and uh, it just securely holds the phone. We've never gone over a bump or driven down the road and the phone has fallen out. So it's very secure in that aspect as well. But let's say you want a magnetic car dock that you don't want to spend the ESR price tag on because the ESR can get a little pricier if you're comparing it to other car docks that don't have all the features that the ESR does. And so let's say you want to spend something a little bit less. You can actually pick up uh, this magnetic car dock that I use, which is called the Anwar car dock. I'll have it listed down below in the affiliate links, but it's just a simple magnetic car dock. It holds your phone very securely, but doesn't allow you to actually charge the phone or you're just fine with manual plugging in your charger, uh, then it works great for those kind of situations. So if you're trying to get a magnetic dock uh, on the cheap, then you can definitely check out the Anwar car dock, which again, I'll have listed down below. Now, moving on to the next kind of accessory is a phone charger. Vixing car charger, basically it does your average charging. It actually has two USB ports and uh, both are you know strong USB. I think one is 1.0 and then the other is 2.1. So the 2.1 will actually charge your phone a little bit faster but basically it's a just a simple plug and play car charger but once you plug this in you can actually connect your phone to this car charger that'll allow you to actually have Bluetooth in your car. So it's actually really cool. Uh, you know, you can have the Bluetooth, you can do phone calls, you can uh, play and pause your music from it. You can do all the other things that you would normally be able to do if you had built in Bluetooth in your car. But now if you have an older car, you're able to just plug this in and you've instantly just updated your car like 10 years by doing that. Now up next is a tech accessory that I think is very vital for anybody. Whether you're going on a road trip, you have a daily commute, whatever, is the case it is very recommended to have something like this fixed OBD scanner, where basically all that it is is this little thing that just plugs into the computer of your car, into the OBD port down below. You plug it in once, set it, and forget it. And basically all that it does is when you download the app and you install it and you do the installation one time, you're able to go into the app, do a check on your car at any time, and be able to tell 
Do you have any hidden check engine lights? Maybe you have a check engine light that is showing right now, uh, but you don't know what the code is for. You don't know what's wrong with your car. And so it actually gives you a lot of information to be able to tell, you know, is my car okay? What is the health of my car? Especially if you have an older car, maybe it's up there in mileage. You can actually scroll through each of the check engine light codes and be able to tell, like I said, how severe it is, how common it is for other cars of your year, make and model to have this sort of an issue. Uh, what are some potential fixes for it? What it might cost at a repair shop to get it fixed. It's actually really, really unique. Now, some of those features are locked into their paid tier, uh, which is optional. Uh, but even if you had just the free tier, you at least get the core information. All the other stuff is extra. I don't even do the paid version and I am perfectly fine and content with the free version. So definitely recommend getting that. Up next is a really unique uh, purchase that I've recently done, and uh, believe it or not, it is a water bottle. Now, this is not just a normal water bottle. This is a water bottle that has blue, built in Bluetooth and some LED ambient lighting inside the bottle. It's really cool, especially at night. That LED ambient lighting just helps to, you know, illuminate the car and give you sort of a not super obnoxious glow of a light, uh, although you can turn that off if you want to. Uh, but basically, it allows you to just have some nice ambient lighting. But with the Bluetooth in there as well, if you, again, if you have a car that does not have Bluetooth or maybe your speakers are just bad uh, in your car or you know maybe the Bluetooth cuts in and out because sometimes that happens. And so with the built-in Bluetooth speaker, it allows you to listen to music very easily. And especially if it is in your cup holder, the cup holder can help to amplify that sound and shoot it back out a little bit louder. And so while it would just be one speaker in the car versus the multiple speakers that a car normally has in the audio system, it actually sounds very nice. It really fills out the car. It's, it's honestly really good. So I definitely recommend that if you are somebody that is on a road trip, maybe you don't have Bluetooth, getting some sort of Bluetooth accessory, whether that is this charger or that is this water bottle, definitely recommend that because of the obvious benefits of being able to, uh, you know, control your music through Bluetooth or be able to do a phone call uh, and, you know, have the other person hear you clearly, not have to hold the phone up. Rather than this video be all about Bluetooth, definitely wanted to remind you that this is all about my favorite road trip tech accessories. Definitely recommend that you check all of these links out. And if I missed any tech accessory that you like to use on road trips, definitely let me know down below. I would love to know and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.